action. Get on. <laughs> I think this building, its history has shown that it's so much a part of the fabric of the local community. The local community fought to have it. It wouldn't still be here and keep going if people didn't put in so much of their own time for the last 22 years. It's this old school building mm. as well. It's got so much history. It's like over a hundred years old. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think over the years, Kenneth Park Complex has really been on a journey from when it was a school to when it was a neighbourhood education centre to what it is now, which is a non-profit uh, community enterprise. I think one of the most exciting things about the Kenneth Park Complex is just the sheer diversity of things that go on here. You know, we put on craft workshops, we put on gigs, we do talks, we do film screenings. Everything from operas to political meetings to uh, kids dance clubs to you know training programs, teaching folks how to learn coding. You know it's it's great peeking your head in to see like what's going on in the halls and you know and it changes all the time. So the community meal that we do on a Thursday was the first thing we kind of came up with. It's uh, stuff we got off of Fairshire. It's just that like a uh, food. I thought it just really be going to waste anyway, it's quite the landfill. We make delicious food from uh, what we get and it's a bit like ready steady cook. I mean there was one day Alan just went like that, put stuff down in front of me and said make something from like that. So I made baked beans lasagna. Who would ever have thought of that? Favourite thing about coming back complex? Everybody like the staff are really welcome and they're really nice to talk to if you need a hand with anything really is this incredible social hub where people feel welcome, people come for, from miles away for all manner of things. It's like a family, I think, like it's dead. Everyone's dead close and everyone in the building is dead nice. This giving feature to a lot of people like us. Beautiful people like yourself, you know what I mean? It's the best place ever, but it needs to be better, unfortunately. <laughs> We have to deal with some issues that we've got around water coming into the building and we have to deal with upgrading the heating and the electrics. I don't know if it's a leak or something, but it, like, it, the water drips out there and it's quite wet. <laughs> <laughs> it's For all of us in the, the top floor, it's definitely having the roof fixed because we're just constantly having to empty buckets of water uh, throughout the day. Richard has had to go out sometimes to go up onto the roof and paint um, sealant onto the tiles and things like that. I've been here for three winters now and it's so cold, it's like it's very cold sometimes you're sitting with a blanket or a hot water bottle. We really very clearly need a new roof, we need new electrics, we need it to be a warm and safe space. So it's inviting so that people want to come. But before we're able to go forward and uh, and then start to fix this building, realistically we need to take long term control of it and that's where the purchase of the building comes in. We need your help to buy the building because we want to honour our rich history and create an amazingly bright future for the community. We need your help to buy the building is because if we don't keep this building going, there will be a lot of people who will miss it. So the Code of Future can continue to help train and uh, support refugees and asylum seekers as they move into careers in tech. So I don't have to clean out buckets of rainwater anymore. We need your help to buy, buy the building so we can be here for the next hundred years. We need your help to buy the building! Cameron Park, this wasn't here. I mean, a few people have been there. We lost before that. Oh, aye. Big time. Big time. I'm one of them. <laughs> <laughs> right.